Hey guys, today's workout is going to be all about your upper body. You're going to get those nice arms. We're going to work everywhere up there. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to show you each move. We're going to go through it four times. You just need one pair of dumbbells. Um, you should be able to do all of these exercises with around the same weight. If you want to have an extra pair or two, if you have them sitting there just in case you get tired or in case one move feels too easy, that's definitely always a good idea. So I have a pair of 15, so you're definitely gonna see me struggle today <laughs> um, by the end, but I'm gonna show, go ahead and show you each move. It's gonna take about 16 minutes, so it's not super long, but we're all in the upper body. Your arms are gonna get tired. <laughs> all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is a side curl to press. So we're going to curl up to the side and press up. So we're doing a swimmer's press. So we're curling palms facing the shoulders, but it's not straight in front of our body. It's a little bit out to 45 degrees. And then we're twisting and going up. So one last time, curl and twist your way up so your palms face away from you. So that's the first exercise. Then we're gonna drop one of your weights and we're gonna do a press jack. I'm gonna get off my mat for this. Uh, maybe, we'll see, we'll see how the mat goes. So one thing you wanna keep in mind here is don't hold the dumbbell too close to your face because we're pressing it. So you want it a little bit out from your body, all right? So we're just pressing up and down right here like a weighted jumping jack. So as your feet go out, your weight goes up and everything comes together when it comes, when your feet come in, your arms come in. All right, so that's our second exercise. Uh, we are then going to need both weights again. We're gonna do a kick and curl. So we're going to rotate palms towards us for the curl, rotate them to our sides and kick. So palms go from facing our sides to facing the front of our body during the curl. So palms facing you, Twisting, twisting, palms are facing the side. So that is the kick and curl right there. The last, or not last, <laughs> don't get that excited. The next thing we're gonna do is a cross reach. So we're gonna be on our backs or on our butts. <laughs> so we're gonna lift up and we're gonna reach across just like this. So we're going nice and quick here, reaching opposite arm to opposite foot. Then we're gonna grab our weights again for a reverse grip row. So palms face away from you, core is nice and tight, chest is open, you don't wanna be hunched. This is not what you wanna be doing. Nice and upright, butt is back, knees are bent, core is tight, chest is open, palms face away from you, and we're gonna row straight back to your hips. Right there, just like that. And then the last exercise, <laughs> There's six, but I'll remind you throughout the whole time what we're doing next is going to be a pike push-up. So we're going to get into a regular push-up push -up position to start right here. We're going to pike in, push up there, out, and that is one. So in, push up, out. In, push up, out. All right, so right there. <laughs> one pike and then you push up, one pike and then you push up. It's gonna get hard. Um, if you need to modify that one a little bit, do a few more pikes per push up ratio. So if you start getting really tired during the push up part, um, do maybe two pikes and then do your first push up or three pikes and then your first push up, just depending on how tired you get. You never know, I may be doing a couple pikes per push up by the end. All right, so that is the end of the examples there. If you need to go watch it, watch it back again, and then we'll start. Only 16 minutes, we're gonna get started, I promise. Right now, I'll quit talking, <laughs> and we're gonna go. So we're doing everything on my timer for 30 seconds. So 30 seconds will feel long <laughs> by the end, but just do what you can do. Keep moving if you can keep moving. If you need to drop your weight, do it. Whatever gets it done for you, however you can get it done, we're gonna do it gonna be great. I'm repeating myself, so that means it's time to start. Can you tell I dread upper body workouts? <laughs> All right, so that first thing is the side curl to press right there. Everybody ready? And three, two, one. Side curl to press. And UPS is here, so <laughs> we're gonna hope they don't come to my house because that's only a little awkward to have UPS when you're filming. You know. We're about halfway through, so keep side curling to press. It's about 45 degree angle out from your body. 
and then you're twisting palms out as you press. Let's get one more in and done. All right, so we're going to drop one weight and we're going to that press jack next, right there. We've got about four seconds till we start though. Two, one, and go. So we're press jacks right here. This is a quick move. So how this is set up, <laughs> just in case you're wondering, we're doing a um, move that's more really targeted, weight targeted move, and then we're doing a more, they may have a weight, but they're working cardio a little bit too. And we've got four, three, two, and rest. All right, next we're doing that kick and curl. So we'll be picking up both weights. This is um, slower, so do this nice, slow and controlled. Then we're gonna curl and kick. So I gotta get hair out of my eye. We're going to, <laughs> palms come to face the shoulders and they're facing your sides when you're kicking. So you're twisting to make that curl. Right there. Keep it going, guys. We're working the upper body. My favorite. We're dropping our weights now for the cross reach. I'm gonna face this way so I can see the timer. Hands behind you, facing your butt. Lift and go. So we're crossing right here, nice and quick. Nice and quick right there. Just wanna get as many in as you can. Keep those abs nice and tight and keep it reaching across your body. We are at about five seconds, so keep on going. Almost done. And last one, rest. All right, guys. Reverse grip row now. Palms face away from you. And go. So remember... Core is nice and tight here. Nice. And supporting your lower back. You don't want to be hunched, to be hunched. Here. <laughs> nice. And elongated in your upper body. Weight is in your balls, your feet, and your heels. Last one. And done. All right. So we're now going to that pike push up. We're doing one pike in and then push up. <laughs> if your upper body gets tired, do an extra pike. So, pike, oop. <laughs> so, in, push up, and out. Push up. Woohoo! So much fun. These are such a fun move. <laughs> Who doesn't love them? Keep on going. You've got this, guys. Let's get one more in, and rest. All right, so we're through one round. <laughs> You're killing it. I'm gonna tuck my shirt, because those pike push-ups are great for flopping your shirt. We're going back to curl to press, and right here, curl to press. If you start getting tired, just take them slower. <laughs> I may be doing that by the fourth round. We're on round two out of four. <laughs> You're doing great things. Working that upper body. Let's get one more in. And rest. <laughs> Yay, rest. So drop one weight. We're going to press jacks. Get the shoulders a little bit more. <laughs> and go, right here. Make sure you don't hold this too close to your face. I've probably told this story <laughs> on one of my videos before, but in my early days of training, I was demonstrating this exercise <laughs> and I busted myself in the chin <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I looked away to talk to someone while doing this and it hurt. <laughs> it hurt very, very bad. Almost done and rest. All right, kick and curl is next, so get both your weights. We will start that right now. So kick, 
twist the palms towards you and curl right there so remember to twist towards your body and then twist out a little bit so your palms are facing each other for the kick you got 10 seconds here you are doing awesome again just like with the reverse grip row core is nice and tight here and done you want to really pull your abs in to support that lower back and we're going to the cross reach in two one and go cross it and reach in <laughs> so hands are either pointing towards you or slightly out to the side you don't want them to be facing behind you or away from you that direction we're almost done guys over halfway through this interval you're killing it keep going use those abs and rest all right we've got our reverse grip row next so grab your weights get ready and go palms face away from you chest is open butt is back core is nice and tight stay long in your upper body we're over halfway through this interval <laughs> so keep moving you've got this pull the weight to the hips last one here and rest all right next is the lovely lovely hike push-up a personal <laughs> least favorite <laughs> so set your hands up and go in push up and out right there so you're piking in doing a pike push-up and hopping out <laughs> great move so much fun try and really use those abs to help pop you in let's get one more <laughs> and we're gonna rest all right we're done with round two <laughs> we're halfway done you're crushing it awesome job grab those weights because we're going back to curl to press and go so curl and press this move <laughs> I do it <laughs> in my get fit guide workouts fairly often but it is so challenging for me <laughs> every variation hammer curl to press side curl to press swimmers press <laughs> don't love them all right and rest if there's a move oh you need one weight for press jack if there's moves that are especially challenging for you don't worry <laughs> Everyone has them, and go. We're all built differently. We all have different lengths in our limbs, different <laughs> muscle fibers. So it is okay to have a move that is hard. <laughs> a move that you feel like is more challenging for you than everything else. It's all right. <laughs> Everyone has them. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's okay to just never do it. <laughs> so push yourself. Get challenged and get better. Almost done. And rest. Because the more challenging it is for you, the more room you have to grow, which is great. All right, we're doing kick and curl. Let's go right now. Right here. Kicking and curling right there <laughs> keep it up guys a few more seconds here you've got this let's keep going almost done and then we're going to that cross reach and rest and get ready and we're gonna cross reach right now so right here just like this bringing that opposite hand and foot together keeping your abs engaged core is nice and tight and keep it moving 
You're doing awesome, guys. You got to uh, <laughs> practice our coordination with this move. And rest. All right. We're doing a reverse grip row next. Then just pike push-ups and we're done with that third round. Get pumped. Ready? And row. Reverse grip row. Right here. You can do it. Palms face away. Core is nice and tight. Upper body is long. You don't want to be hunched. And just keep it going. We're already almost done. <laughs> After all that, all those tips. Last one. Put it down. And we're going to that pike push up. Ready? Pike in, push up, and pike out. Let's go. Right here. After this one, we are on to our last round. Isn't it a glorious thing? <laughs> the last round is a favorite. My favorite round. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Pike push ups. Let's get another few in. Last one. And rest. All right. Side curl press for the last time. <laughs> My nemesis. Let's go, guys. Right here. Side curl and press. I can make it through. <laughs> One more set of this. Whew. If this workout hasn't been challenging, you know <laughs> that your weight is probably too light. We want to push ourselves, but you don't want to use a weight where you can't keep correct form. Last one. <laughs> and rest. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, so we need that one weight for press jacks. Make sure it's not too close to your face. And go, right here, just like this. Everything you're doing, you are doing for the last time. So get excited. You're killing your upper body. You're getting stronger. Getting those nice, that nice muscle tone in your arms that everybody wants. You're getting it. You're working for it. We got four more seconds. Almost done. And rest. Okay, kick and curl is next. Wanna catch my breath? <laughs> and two, one, and curl, kick. Honestly, doesn't matter if you kick and curl or curl and kick, as long as you're doing it. And you're doing it nice and controlled. You don't want to let momentum swing the weight. You want that nice, slow kick, nice, slow curl. We're almost done here. Three seconds. Get this last one in. Kick. And done. All right, we're cross-reaching for the last time. Hallelujah. And go. We're crossing and reaching. Nice and quick, as quick as you can while keeping that core engaged, keeping good form. You're doing great. We're almost done with this entire workout. I'm so glad you joined me. <laughs> nice little upper body burner. Yay. Last few seconds and rest. But not for long. <laughs> because we're going into that reverse grip row. We've only got about a minute left. Ready? And row. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Almost done, guys. 20 seconds here. And then just one more interval. And that's it. You crushed it. You're doing great things. You're working. Your muscles getting strong, getting fit. Last one, and we're doing that pike push up. Almost done, everyone. Last interval, get excited. If you were tired, now you're almost done. <laughs> so push that aside. Let's go. You can push.
push through one more interval. I know you can. I believe in you. <laughs> Even if you only get two or three in, just keep going. Don't turn it off. Just try. Even if you're doing all pikes right now, no push-up. It's okay, you're moving. And rest. And you did it. <laughs> you are done. Awesome, awesome, awesome job, guys. If you're like me, any upper body workout is a tough workout for you. <laughs> it's these long arms, I think. But I'm so happy you joined me and you crushed it and you made it through 16 minutes of constant upper body work. <laughs> You'll feel that. Um, if you're looking for how to pair this, uh, you can make it a total body day and go pick a 15 minute, 20 minute lower body workout. I have some of those recently. You can add some abs afterwards. Um, upper body and abs are a great combo. Upper lower combined two workouts makes a great total body day. So whatever you wanna do, or if this is it for you, that's good too. Whatever fits into your schedule, whatever works, just keep doing it, keep grinding, keep doing those workouts. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want more of my workouts, recipes, blogging thoughts, uh, sugarysixpack.com, or you can find me sugarysixpack on Instagram and Facebook. And let me know how you enjoyed it. <laughs>